Uh, I was looking at my YouTube channel. I realized I haven't made a YouTube video in three months, apparently. Uh, so I, I figured I should uh, spank one out real quick. Uh, video, that is. Uh, I knew I wanted to do a speed paint because uh, that's easier than an animation. Uh, but I didn't know what to draw, so I just kind of looked at my channel, my old videos, and uh, yeah, redoing an old drawing. That's a that's a tried and true method. I'll just do that again. So yeah, this is the drawing I've decided to take a crack at. Um, it's from 2017, so it's five years old now. Wow. Uh, I chose this drawing in particular because I, I like the vibes, the general idea of it, but uh, I can definitely see that the execution is uh, lacking in certain departments, uh, specifically the background. <laughs> uh, so I thought it would be interesting to see how I would approach this kind of scene today. Um, and my background skills have not developed as much as I would like them to um, because I namely don't practice perspective very often I just draw characters over and over but um I think I've gotten better at making it seem like I know perspective uh, which you'll see in a second here so as you can see right here I am cheating like the filthy con man that I am you know I, they don't call me Robbie for nothing, I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm out here robbing, stealing, thieving, taking what isn't mine. It's all good. Uh, yeah, basically I am drawing on top of a picture to yoink that uh, perspective so I don't have to make my own. You know, they, say, they do say store-bought is fine sometimes. You don't have to make your perspective from scratch every time. And yeah, then I just uh, spent a little while trying to figure out how to make the colors look good and, uh, <laughs> yeah, make it all kind of blendy. I think the idea was uh, just trying to be like a haze, you know, like a kind of romantic blur so that all the focus goes on the, the character here. I don't really have a lot to say about the drawing at this point, so I was just gonna mention uh, that I've made like a bunch of different drawings that I would have loved to have a speed paint for, but I don't know, whenever I'm about to sit down and draw, I just think to myself, eh, this probably won't be that cool of a drawing, I, I don't need to record this one. And then it ends up being cool, and I'm like, no, I wasted my chance. So I think from now on, I'm just gonna try and record like i don't know every drawing i do and then if it's bad i just delete the recording right like truly that would be very easy you just put the push the button to record it oh yeah and at, uh, at this stage of the, the drawing process where i started like putting in all the colors and the shading and that kind of stuff um i i thought in the original it was kind of a shame that i didn't push the the silhouette aspect because she's got all this light going on in the background and she's like a dark uh foreground element essentially um so i really wanted to incorporate like a, a nice rim light uh subsurface scattering like the kind of glow on the edge of the hair all that kind of stuff and uh at this point i just get on uh with the rendering um i didn't do anything too crazy uh, I kept it mostly flat, uh, just kind of rendering out the lines, uh, a little bit of shading here and there, uh, a couple of uh, gradient-y areas, but yeah, mostly just like cleaning up the, uh, I guess the, the contours, the edges between one color and the next, that kind of thing. The star of the show here is really the uh, the rim light, the silhouette. So I didn't want to. I didn't think it was necessary to add too much like cell shading, like a secondary light source or nothing like that. And uh, right there, it was about time to start rendering the hand, um, the one that's resting against the table. Uh, and I decided that I didn't want to do that. Um, I couldn't figure out how to 
make it look like it's actually resting on the table so I just hit it behind the table and I, I think I'm allowed because I chose to include the other hand which wasn't in the original so I, th I think it cancels out right it cancels out yeah see look at how much uh, attention I'm putting on the other hand I don't avoid hands right right guys I would never avoid a hand Here I'm just trying to make the table and the character fit in with the light environment a little more. And then uh, I decided to uh, change the aspect ratio and the composition a little bit. Because the original is pretty like wide I suppose. But it's not a landscape. And I think usually it's better to make something really portrait or really landscape. As opposed to like almost square like. But squares are fine. I don't want to be discriminatory against squares. But in this in this case, I decided to make it a uh, longer shaped drawing uh, in the tall department. That is vertically. <laughs> and uh, then at the last couple of minutes here, I just kind of start messing around with lighting a little bit more, adjusting the colors, adding blurs to certain areas, sharpness to certain areas. Uh, I ended up doing a couple of sparkles in the end because uh, it felt appropriate. And uh, yeah, just wrapping it up, tying everything together. And uh, yeah, then it's finished. Yippee! Wahoo! Wee -hee -hee. Yeah, this was pretty fun. I uh, hope you liked the drawing. I hope you like watching the drawing be drawn. And uh, uh, see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be in three months. Hopefully it will be less than that. Bye! Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber.